Hello and welcome back to another video on Serious About Salvage. Now today we've got another new car to the channel. You'll have seen it in the thumbnail by now. And I also did a little short video of it on uh, Friday last week. But if you haven't seen it, this is it. Where is it? There it is. It's a Renault Clio. Quite a new one, a 2019. It's a lovely light bluey grey. Um, very nice spec, it's an Iconic, which I believe is basically a Dynamic S, the new version of it. Um, it's lovely, yeah, I like it. Looks like it should be a very easy fix. Um, quick turnaround and out the door, yeah. It's a 900cc petrol turbo. I don't know the power, actually, it will say on the door here. It is 90 brake horse. Hmm. It's alright. It's alright. Nice alloys. I'm gonna spin you around. You can see it yourself as they're staring at me. There it is. Yeah, it's a nice, it's like a, a bluey, a bluey grey. Nice colour. Now I like the wheels. Plenty of tread all around. I think they'll clean up. I don't think there's really any. Yeah, I think it's just dirt. I don't think they're really curbed. That's a cleaner one. Nice alloys then. Ball this side is great. <coughs> Obviously a run and drive. Um, the front's great. The only thing on the front that's annoyed me is. <coughs> Excuse me, sorry. I don't know if it's coming out on camera. You see that line there? There's a little dent there. And a tiny one there. And that's from people shutting the bonnet like that. These are very, very thin. And uh, that's where the double skin is. And where the double skin ends, it pushes the skin down. Dents it. Just literally by, shut, by pushing on it to shut the bonnet. So I'm going to have to try and get the dent man out to see if he can sort that out. Because it's going to spoil the car otherwise. It's min. Or it will be. <coughs> Down this side again, all good. Nice. All we've got is a little bit of rear end damage. Uh, a tailgate and rear bumper. Um, now I am expecting it to be pushed in a touch because the boot doesn't shut. It will not shut. But if you look at the lines, both sides. Sorry about that. I tell you what, I moaned about this camera last winter, and I'm going to moan again this winter. It's shocking when it's cold weather. The battery's on 59%, and it keeps turning itself off saying battery low. So now, I'm carrying around an extension lead with it plugged in, just so it'll stay on. It's an absolute joke. Like 600 quid these cameras are. Anyway, yeah, so we've got light rear end damage. Um, like I said, I do expect it's to pushed in a touch. I don't think it's pushed in much. Um, but we're going to have to strip it down to find out. So that's basically today's task. I don't want to take the boot lid off. There's no need to. It's going to keep it dry if it's outside. I just want to get this bumper off, really. Strip out inside the boot. And um, just see what we need to do, really. But the rest of the car, like I said, is, is really, really clean. It's inside all nice. Not really much to see in the back, to be fair. And then in the front. It's even got its floor mat still. Nice and clean. They have these touch, touch screen. I'm sure you've seen them before. Oh. Let's, let's put ignition on. It's not going to turn on unless I press start, is it? It's only one key, unfortunately. Uh, but they have this, you know, touch screen, so you've got your nav and everything. It won't pick up in here because it's a bloody metal building. But your radio, you've got phone connectivity, all that stuff. It's really nice. And in here, you've got, um... What's it got? Has it got, yeah. Yeah, it's got cruise control. Um, how, am I, how can I get that message? Off, the, off there. There. It's just ticked over onto 22,000 miles. So very low miles. 
three quarters of a tank of petrol and I bet this thing runs on fresh air bet yeah we have some hand books but service book has been taken out uh, I mean not service book the service history there was an envelope in there and it had the, it said on it v5 and service paperwork and the envelope's now empty so they've removed it all at auction it's data protection unfortunately because it's got the previous owner's name and address on it's all got to go in the bin um so anyway we'll service it it's due an mot in may in, not in may in january so it's only got a month so we'll get an mot on it as well and i think it's going to be a cracking car yeah what do you reckon 900 cc petrol turbo and it's still got an eco button i mean it's only three cylinder it's not like it can turn another cylinder off is it so i'm not sure exactly what that does um let's see if i can lean across and open the bonnet yeah oh that's it's a pain dragging this extension now on me i'll be honest with you <clears throat> because it's obviously a newer one it's the facelift front end so the spotlights are low down again instead of in the grill they look a bit more they look a bit nicer the facelift ones but yeah 2019 it's not an old car is it and there we go tiny little three cylinder 900 cc petrol turbo it's like new under there in all fairness it's like new um, it's not done a lot of miles is it that's how you should shut up on it not push down so all in all i'm very happy with the purchase i really am i think it's going to be a good car I'll turn it off so the good news is i've got on order a boot lid and a bumper in color even with the reverse parking sensors in the bumper it's literally coming off this identical car same spec and everything uh, they're both described as being in excellent condition uh, obviously through ebay and they're getting delivered in the next couple of days so that is absolutely incredible that's the best scenario possible when you're doing these cars because this isn't probably going to be one of the better colors to match it is metallic but all that trouble is gone now because we're going to have a perfect matching bumper and tailgate so that's excellent news as far as i'm concerned so anyway we need to start pulling this apart as you can see there i don't know how much the bumpers come away but yeah this section here is definitely in a bit um but we're going to pull all that out now and get the bumper off i think you've got to remove the tail lights because i think there's a fixing behind there um yeah we'll just see what happens but the strange thing is you can see the crash bar well i can anyway there and it's not doesn't look it doesn't appear to have been moved it's like it's it's more up here where it's been hit and obviously onto the tailgate but the tailgate isn't that bad it's not it's always skin damage it's a bit there but this area here hasn't moved so i'm pretty sure we could line up we could pull this out and line it up to this boot lid and i bet it'll do the same because the boot lid like i said with the gaps being so even doesn't appear to have moved anywhere but anyway let's get this boot this um boot area stripped out and this rear bumper off we can have a good look then and see exactly uh what it's done behind there
Okay, it was stripped down. And, um, <laughs> well, I'm just going to show you, I think. Watch. Shuts. Perfect. Now, all I did, obviously I've, I've all stripped all this out. All I did was get a piece of wood on there and gave it a couple of smacks with a sledgehammer. A decent size hammer. And it's brought it back out. It was only, like I said, it was only a little bit. And it shuts, shuts perfect and still, like I said, lines. Great, nothing's twisted. I mean, it's hard to tell now without, obviously, a new boot lid, because we're not guaranteed that that's not a little bit twisted. But, I mean, you can see yourself, there's very much nothing, and maybe it's a little bit in down here, tiny touch maybe. I mean, these, these marks here are from me with ammo like, so don't get too worried about that. But there's, yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm, end of the day, as long as the boot shuts, so this, this stuff underneath, it's just tin, honestly. In between this top piece, which is a bit, bit stronger, all, you know, all that is just tin down there. Just a couple of sheets of tin. There's nothing structural there. There's nothing on the legs. The crash bar is untouched. Um, yeah, like I said, as long as the boot shuts and everything lines up, I think we're on to a winner. And you can't complain on that. I mean, there's still a little bit of play in it as well, so it's not old, it's not like it's really tight. It's hard to tell. The boot, the boot still moves a bit. I mean, if we need to get it a bit tighter, then we just, just adjust that a bit, don't we? Simple as that. So really now, without the replacement boot lid and rear bumper, there's not a lot we can do, because I think maybe this might be a bit twisted. It's a bit hard to tell, really. Um, and the bumper does slot into there, you see. So we need to make sure that's right. I think it might be a bit popped out on this side, maybe. But I don't want to, like I said, I don't want to do anything else without the new parts. So, uh, yeah, we're going to have to leave it there for now. Hopefully, new bootleg comes and it shuts just as well as that one. And um, I don't think we're going to have to do anything else really to it, which is good. Because you, ne you never know with these, you see, because the plastic bumpers, obviously, they pop back out. When they've been hit, the bumpers pop back out, and they can be a lot hiding behind these sometimes. I mean, I've seen them with the floor all pushed in. You see this floor is not pushed in at all. It's only been a bit of a gentle tap. But great car, great little car. So we'll come back and continue this video when the new parts have arrived. And... Uh, or shall we? What is it? Yeah, we'll, we'll just continue with this video. There's nothing much in this video yet. So, yeah, I'll be back as soon as possible and we'll continue. Okay, we're back to continue this Renault Clio because we have our tailgate and our bumper. So first of all, sorry if it seems a bit darker in here than usual. Uh, the roof is covered in snow. So we had some snow. Beautiful snow. Uh, so yeah, we've got everything we need to hopefully finish off this Renault Clio. I've uh, got oil and filter as well, so we can do oil and filter change. And I'm, I am honestly believing it's just going to be a case of swapping these two over now. And I think we'll have a good one. So I think what we'll do is swap this boot lid over, get that shut in nice. I said, I'm pretty sure we're done with any little bit of uh, pulling we need to on this. It's just the case of this bracket, really. I think that's a little bit out of shape. Might have to mess with that a little bit. But the fact that the boot shuts so well now. It's beautiful. Beautiful. Right, it's a bit cold, so I think 
let's get on with it. Moving around is going to keep me warm. But yeah, these, um, these replacement parts are in great condition. And obviously with it being factory paint, we will have a perfect match. And uh, there won't be any issues there. So this is like, this is ideal, isn't it? It's ideal when we get um, original parts in original colour. We've got this little bit of damage here, which I knew about, but these bottom pieces um, are separate. So I can use, so it's like this driver's side. I can use mine off there. And uh, be perfect then, won't it? So should we get on with it? Let's get these parts swapped over. Be another great little quick repair. Right, the boot lid is off. That was a bit fiddly actually, because they hide the fittings for the tail, you know, the washer jet, and the the fit, you know, the bulb for the brake light, high level brake light, in behind the spoiler, and you can't get the lens out from the front because it's screwed in. So you have to take the spoiler off, and also. They hide a fix in there. This little square bracket is round that fixing hole because this is a separate piece. But you've got to take the fixing out to get that out. So yeah. 
a little bit tricky. I mean, the rest of it's easy, just pulling all the cabling out and that's your washer pipe. And then it's just the two fixings on top of the bracket and taking off the struts. It's not the easiest job to do on your own really either. You could do with another pair of arms really, but it's manageable because the tail gets only really light. It's not much weight in it. Um, but yeah, that's, that's basically the procedure. Um, so I'm going to have to take off that, that and the other side now. Um, or should I, I might as well just fit it first. Yeah, and then it's rigid and, and get to the underside for the fixings then. So I might as well, yeah, just, I'll fix it to the brackets and I'll put the struts on, holds it up and then I can get to the underside of the spoiler. Remove that one and then it's a case of just plumbing it all back up all the cables back in and uh, just continue really isn't it continue with it so let's get that done Right, let's try this for the third time. I'm really struggling with the batteries now, it's got cold. Perhaps they're just knackered and I need to replace them. Um, and what have I had it for? But it's perhaps two years. Anyway, right, the boot lid is on. All lined up, now it went on easy, uh, easy enough. I had to tweak about with the, with the alignment. We've got a nice gap that side. We've got a nice gap that side. It opens nice, shuts nice. No, but no issues, no binding, and we've got everything on the inside, all covered, all the bungs in, all the wiring's in, the plumbing's in for the washer jet. So yeah, the boot is done. The boot's done. So we now need to have a go with this rear bumper and see how that fits. Um, I don't think it's going to be much of an issue. But we won't know until we try it. So um, I'm just going to throw this bumper on quickly off camera. It's quite a bit of time lapse, I think, in this video. Uh, and I'm going to try and find some different music for you as well. So hopefully you'll have already listened to it. So I think it's time we had a bit of a, a change up on the old uh, time lapse music. But so far, so good. Colour match absolutely perfect, like I was um, expecting with the original paint. Really happy with how it lines up. So, yeah, I'll throw this bumper on, just loose, and we'll see. Um, we'll see how that goes. I think.
Right, there we go. I don't think you can ask for much more than that, really. It's gone on absolutely perfect. I mean, all the gaps look great. The headlights, tail lights, sorry, look nice and straight. It all looks really, really good. Hmm. And like I said before, there's something for looking for. There's something, I don't know what the word is. What I'm trying to say is that you've got to find parts in colour. Because that, you never would paint them to and make them look that good. You just wouldn't. Great car. So really all we've got left to do now on this is oil and filter. And yeah, like I said, I need to send it for a service. I mean, not no, for an MOT. So it's only got till like mid-January, so it's like a month. I can't sell it with a month's MOT. So I'll get that booked in. Um, we will do oil and filter and uh, close up this video. But for now, I'm going home because it's dark, it's cold. And uh, I want to get packed up, so we'll, we'll we will resume this video um, tomorrow. Okay. Um, right now it's actually two days later than um, the day we did the boot and but uh, boot lid and bumper. Uh, the car is now MOT'd. They managed to squeeze it in yesterday. It's got a full 12 months MOT, not a single advisory um, sail through, and I knew it would do. So I'm just currently warming it up a little bit. It just helps the oil flow out when you're doing a service. Um, so yeah, that's all we need to really do. Oil and filter. Yeah, look in there. See that? Minus two inside here at the minute. I don't actually feel that cold in all fairness. It's got some uh, thermals on and stuff. Got some gloves on. Got a hat on. Feels all right. It's just nice and fresh. It's nice. But yeah, minus two in here. Right, yeah, so oil and filter. And then this car is finished. It's absolutely filthy. But there's just no way I'm washing this car. You can see there's still frost on it now all the water's frozen outside there's no way if i wash it it'll turn to one massive ice cube so i'm gonna have to wait um the weekend is showing a bit warmer weather so hopefully i can get it washed that weekend and it can then go up for sale today's uh wednesday for me anyway recording so we're gonna have to finish this video with a dirty car but I mean, when it when I got it, it was quite clean. It's just I am obviously running it to the service at MLT station, but the roads are that dirty, covered in grit. You see yourself, absolutely minging. But it's nice underneath, so I'm not concerned about any of that. But it has turned out really well. I did give the bump boot lid another bit of a jiggery poke because I wasn't quite happy with this side. But now it's really nice, really flush. Come out really good very happy like i said getting the same color it's a must but it can't always happen this one i got lucky with so it's turned out to be right and a nice easy little fix and i'm sure this one will fly out the door so i'll get it i'll let it warm up a little bit more and then we'll get this oil and filter done and we'll be calling it quits on this car all right guys we are all done I will check it again, uh, the level in a moment. I've just I've just run it a little bit. Um, I'll just let the oil settle and I'll check it again and top it up if needed. But I mean, other than that, we're completely finished. It's just it's just a clean inside's pretty good actually to be honest. Pretty clean. But yeah, we're a, a cracking little car. Be so be a perfect little first person car or um, someone who only needs a small car or a second car for some family. Great, really enjoyed it actually. Been a right, right easy one, right nice easy job. So yeah, we're going to finish this video here, yeah, and that'll be the end of this car. So I mean, as always, thank you very much for watching. It is very much appreciated, and uh, I will see you in the next one. Cheers.